Hey gang, welcome to your fourth OAuth tutorial and in this video we're going to set up our authentication routes in our Express application. Alright then, so far we have this pretty simple Express application up and running and we're just responding to one route at the minute which is forward slash the base route which is rendering this homepage template right here. Now I want to move on to the authentication side of this project. Now, if you remember back to the slides in the first couple of tutorials, I said that when a user wants to log in using Google, for example, it's going to go to a route which looks something like this, forward slash auth, forward slash Google. And if it was Facebook, it would be forward slash auth, forward slash Facebook. Now, we're going to be using Google throughout the rest of this series to sign in with. So in our case, they're going to go to forward slash auth, forward slash Google. Now, where do we want to put our login with Google button? Well, I want a login page, right? Which is going to have maybe three or four different signing methods down the line. So it could be Facebook, Google, GitHub, and whatever other provider. So I'm going to put a little login button up here in the header. And then when we click on that, it's going to take us to another page on our website, which is going to list these different options for now just going to list the Google option, right? And when we click on that Google option, that button, then it's going to direct us to this right here, Auth Google. But to begin with, like I said, I just want to pop a button up at the top, which when we click is going to go to say Auth and then forward slash login. And that's going to be a login page with some different login options on it. So let's do that first of all. So we're going to have various different auth routes. So far we've seen two, forward slash auth, forward slash login, but also forward, uh, forward slash auth, forward slash Google. And don't forget we've got that callback route as well, which when the user has allowed access to their Google profile, it's going to redirect to a callback route on our application. That's going to be some kind of auth route as well. So there's a few different auth routes we need to set up, and I could do them directly in this app.js file, but I really don't want to do that. I don't want this to get messy pretty quickly. So I want to start to modularize our routes. So I'm going to keep all the authentication routes together in one file. And we're going to create a folder to keep our different route files in. So up here at the top, I'm going to right click and go to new folder. And I'm going to call this routes. And this is where we'll keep all of our route uh, files. And the first file I want to create is going to be called auth-routes.js. So all of our auth uh, authentication routes are going to be set up in here. Now to do this, we're going to create an instance of the express router. So to do that, I'm going to say const and then call this constant router and set it equal to require. And we're requiring the express library, first of all. But we don't just want to require express. We want to create an instance of a router. So we'll use a method on this called router with a capital R and invoke that method. So now this is going to create an instance of a router for us, which we can attach routes to in this file. Then we can export those routes and use them in our app.js file. OK, so you'll see this all become clear in a minute. So let's first of all create our login right route. So I'll say auth login and then underneath we'll say router. And whereas before we could say something like app.get to respond to a get request for this route in here, because we've created a router instance and we don't have the app variable in here, it's only an app.js, we set it up right here. What we're going to do is attach these routes to this router object we've set up. Then we're going to export this router object so that we can use it in app.js. And I'll show you that later. So to begin with, router, and we need to set up a route which is going to be forward slash login. OK, now I said over here that it's going to be forward slash auth forward slash login. Now, when we're creating these router instances, we don't need to put the first bit. These are all going to be forward slash auth forward slash something. So we don't need to put auth in this file. We're going to do it later on when we use these routes in the app.js. So the first one is going to be forward slash login. Then we have a function here with the request object and the response object. And inside this function, we need to do something. Now, what I want to do is render a template which is going to be the login screen. So up here, I'll say response.render, and we're going to render the login page, right? Like so, not logging, login. All right, so we're going to render that page for this route. So let's create that, first of all, over here in the views. So I'll go to new file, 
and I'm going to call this login.ejs. Now we won't do this just yet, we'll come back to this in a minute and we'll finish this routes file first of all. So this right here is going to render a login page with the Google Plus button on. So when they click on that Google Plus button, it's going to redirect then to forward slash auth forward slash Google, right? So that's the second route we'll create. So down here, I'm going to say forward slash forward slash auth with Google. And that is going to be router dot get. And it's going to be forward slash Google. All right. Again, we're not putting auth before it. We'll do that later on in app.js. So this function is also going to uh, take the request object and the response object. And inside this function, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to handle this with Passport later on because this is where we start interacting with Google and sending them to that consent screen. So I'm not going to really do much here at the minute. All I'll do is put a comment saying handle with Passport. So we know later on, this is where we're going to handle this kind of step with Passport. And for now, we'll just say response.send and we'll send a message to the browser. And it's just going to say logging in with Google. So that when we go to this route for now, we know that this is what we're going to do in the future. And we're just going to say logging in with Google for now until we do that. OK, so I want to do one more route and I'm going to do it above this. And this is going to be to log out. So we'll say auth log out and we'll say router dot get. And it's going to be forward slash auth forward slash log out this time. So a user is going to go to this route if they want to log out. And we need to do that later on. But again, we're going to take the request and the response object here. And inside this function, what I would like to do is for now, just say response.send logging out. And again, we're going to handle this step with Passport later on. So we'll pop a comment here as well saying handle with Passport. So we know we're going to handle this logout process later on with Passport. And if we go there for now, it's just going to say logging out. All right. So the next thing we need to do is export this router object right here. And we're exporting it so that then we can import it in app.js. So we'll say module dot exports. Set that equal to router, not rotor, router. So this thing right here. So we've created this instance of a router. And we've attached these different routes to it, login, logout, and Google. And then we're exporting that instance of the router with all of these handlers attached to it. OK, so now we've exported it. We can go ahead and import it into our app.js file. So I'm going to do that now. And I'll say const auth routes is going to be equal to require. And inside, we want to say, first of all, the current directory, so dot forward slash. Then is the routes folder then forward slash auth hyphen routes. All right, so now we've imported that file in here and we can use them. So the way we use a set of routes that we're going to import is by saying app.use and then the routes, right? So we'll set those up just above this home route. So we'll say set up routes and then underneath this, we'll say app.use. So what we're saying here is we want to use some routes or some middleware. That's all these things are. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it in here. Right now, I said that forward slash auth goes in front of all of these routes that we've just set up. So we only want to use these when a user goes to forward slash auth. And the way we can do that is by passing in a parameter, first of all, that says forward slash auth and it's in a string. Then the second parameter is the routes that we want to use for this path. So if they go to forward slash auth, then forward slash login, logout or Google, it works. Make sense? All right, then, cool. So now we have these routes set up. And the last thing we need to do is create that view for this thing right here, the login screen, right? So I'm going to do that in the login.ejs file. So let's say HTML and then tab to make that boilerplate HTML. Um, the title is going to be login. In the body, I'm just going to paste some HTML. And this is a nav at the top with a UL inside. We have three LIs this time, not just one. And they have these different routes that we've just set up. So forward slash for the home page, then forward slash or forward slash login for the login page. That's going to display this template. Then we have the logout link as well, forward slash logout. 
So that's in the header. Then, sorry, that's in the nav at the top. Then in the header, we have a H1 saying login using. Then in the main, we've got an A with a class of Google button and a href of forward slash auth forward slash Google, right? So this is the route that we're going to go to when we want to log in with Google, remember? So that then over here, when we say forward slash Google, we know that we want to log in with Google. Passport is going to handle this for us and interact with Google to do that. OK, but for now, all we're doing when we go to forward slash or forward slash Google is responding with this message that we'll see in the browser. So let's go to this file over here again. I just want to add some styles, but instead of me writing them all out, I'm going to copy them from my repository and paste them in over here. And they're very simple again, very similar to the ones I added in on the home page. I'm also just going to take these links right here that's on the login page and I'm going to apply them to the home page because we've only got one in there at the minute. So let's go to this link and highlight that and paste those over it. So let's save this now and let's go to the home page and refresh. Now we can see these three links up here. We have the home page, which still shows this template. Then we have the login page, which is showing the Google Plus button right there. And if we go to log out, we can see this message logging out. We know that Passport is going to handle this logout function for us later on, but for now we're just seeing that message. If we click login using Google Plus, then we get this message sent to us logging in with Google. And again, this is what Passport is going to control later on. So now we've set up these basic auth routes in our application and we have these different pages set up and ready to go so that in the next tutorial we can start using Passport to control different parts of the authentication flow. So we're going to do that in the very next video.